Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. I have a special Yarn 101 for you today. We're gonna to be talking a little bit more about the new Karen Cakes. I have had many of you, many, many of you, sending me messages requesting that I do a Yarn 101 for this new yarn that's out. And it's easy to see why it's been so popular on the internet, like places like Pinterest and in the marketplace because it's so fun and so pretty. What's unique about this yarn is that it's wound into cakes. Now normally you have to do that yourself. Um, if you're not familiar with this process, check out my ball winder and swift tutorial and it shows you how to do this. But this yarn comes already uh, wound into a yarn cake and you can see in the top view and the bottom view how the colors all display themselves. So I have a couple of colors here. I went to my local craft store and I couldn't just pick one, I just picked a few. <laughs> so I uh, just love all these colors, they're so much fun. They also come in lots of other colors. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Now, the whole idea behind this is the, the Karen Yarn Company is celebrating their 100th year birthday. So 1916 to 2016. So how do we celebrate a birthday? A cake, and they have made this fun yarn cake. Now I have, like I said, three colors here. This particular color is called Fun Fetty. This one here is called, let's see, Rainbow Sprinkles. So much fun. This one is called Gelato. And so I wanted to pick like a cool, uh, a cool, a warm, and then a rainbow. So that um, is our spectrum here. I'm gonna go ahead now and show you though all of the other fun colors that comes in with all equally fun names as well. So as you can see, there's tons of really fun colors to pick from. And this yarn is variegated. As you can see, all the colorways are variegated. And I wanted to point out that some variegated yarns, the color changes rapidly. This is a long uh, changing uh, variegated yarn, meaning that you're gonna get bigger uh, sections of color when you're working up your projects. And let me just show you an example of that. We have a free pattern on the label here. You can see these kind of wider, chunkier stripes that it, this yarn is gonna provide. So I just wanted to point that out. Now look at this one here. This is this scarf here. See those wide stripes of color? And this is considered a medium worsted weight yarn. If you look at the yarn label, it is a four on the yarn weight scale. You can see the medium there. And for the knitters, they recommend a five millimeter US eight knitting needle. For the crocheters, a five millimeter USH hook is what they recommend. To care for your finished pieces made with this yarn, it is recommended that you hand wash and lay flat to dry. The fiber content is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And as a side note, it's very, very soft. It's, it's a soft yarn. The net weight is 7.1 ounces. 200 grams, and each one of these cakes is approximately 383 yards uh, or 350 meters, depending on if you use metric or standard. And speaking of the yardage, I wanted to point out that when I saw these for the first time online and on social media, people are sharing them, uh, you know, their, their craft store hauls that they're bringing home. Um, I imagine these being a lot smaller, and to my surprise and delight at the craft store, they're really big. So you can see in my hands, they're, they're pretty substantial. You get a lot of yardage per cake. So you can get a nice large um, project, you know, out of these. So I wanted to also give you a tip. I was playing around with these earlier, and to find, so if you've never worked with a yarn cake, you normally pull from the center. It's a center pull type of thing, and the neat thing about a cake is that the way it's wound, it's flat on the bottom. So it's gonna sit nice and flat, and you just pull the yarn out of center as you work, which is really nice. It's not gonna roll around or fall on the floor, get all dirty. So um, when I was looking for the end, I found that if you kind of like open it up like this and dig, I found a yellow. See, it was, when I first bought it, it was just revealing itself as being an orange center. So I was looking for an end that was orange. But if you kind of open it up like this, this is just my little tip, um, you can find 
another color so you can and I don't know if every single one is like this but I found that for the ones I purchased they were like that so just pull this yellow out and you can see it's kind of like wound in there and if you just keep digging in there you'll find your end that you're looking for so you just kind of like keep pulling that up and you'll find it so I didn't have too much trouble locating the end of my yarn like that and then once you're ready to work you can just pull the yarn from the center out. So that makes it really easy to work with as well. I also want to mention that uh, it, there is a free pattern on the back of each label, but if you go to yarnspirations.com, you can find um, some more patterns. And there's a lot of patterns circulating. Designers are starting to um, get themselves acquainted with this yarn as well. So that is uh, some more information about Karen Cakes. So if you see this yarn um, while you're out and about, you can, um, hopefully this gave you a little bit more information and uh, show you all the colorways. Now, uh, I saw, I've seen this now in two stores and I, I saw some of the colorways at some stores and some of the other, I think because of the popularity and some colorways are um, leaving the shelves pretty quickly. So anyway, I hope this gave you a little bit more information and thanks so much for watching and definitely stay tuned. I'll have a free pattern soon with this yarn and be sure and click the subscribe button to get more updates like this. Thanks so much.